What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Kate Bush, and we're going back to her 1980 album Never Forever. I'm really keen to start going through this. A number of you have already commented that 80s Kate Bush is a special and sort of magical thing, and that this album represents sort of the first step in this next phase of her career. I'm very excited for that. Uh, we're up to a tune called Delius, Song of Summer. Uh, I happen to be aware, I'm into classical music, there was a composer of the 19th century who I believe went by the mononymic Delius, although I don't remember his full name as we sit here, and I can't really think of any notable works in his, um, uh, let's, I was going to say discography, um, but ultimately in his corpus of works, I'm not familiar of anything notable, um, so if there is a connection to that Delius, I'm not quite sure what to make of it, and if it isn't that Delius, I can't think of any other proper name usage with which I'm familiar. Um, I will say Song of Summer is a descriptive phrase that at least we can think of in a seasonal context. Um, perhaps there will be some sort of um, bright and vibrant feel to it given that, you know, summer, wherever you live, whether, you know, it's in the months that um, we in the Northern Hemisphere or I in the Northern Hemisphere um, associate with summer in you know, May, June, July, August. Um, or whether we're talking uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, where it's the other uh, part of the year. Ultimately, um, it's when plants grow the most uh, significantly. It's when creatures are not hibernating when they are out and uh, life is most vibrant on Earth. So perhaps there could be some sort of sonic or thematic um, exploration of that sort of um, feel or atmosphere. But ultimately, I have no idea with either the regular title or the subtitle, so let's find out. This is Kate Bush, Delia's Song of Summer and it's from her 1980 album, Never Forever. <laughs> sound, you know, maybe it's a mosquito, maybe it's just a fly, um, but again, more like incidental sound, which I'm now remembering that was part of the comment about um, her using the fair light. Um, ultimately, as my cat just keeps doing crazy things over here, 
Um, yeah, really interesting tune. I didn't catch much of the lyrics, I have to say, uh, and I'm intrigued by the male vocals on that one because they seemed like, if not comedic, certainly like dramatic and like, you know, heightened delivery and a sort of, you know, like theatrical sort of vocal articulation rather than a like more melodic and true musical articulation. Could we not attack uh, posters? Thank you. Um, yeah, so it's a really interesting song. Um, have to uh, listen to it some more. Do let me know if you have some insight. Um, but yeah, really excited to keep going through this album and it feels like the electronic sounds are maybe beginning to, to amass and that they will be <clears throat> a greater part of this journey from this point on. So let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.